Are you avoiding Instagram Reels or TikTok because you don't like showing up on video or can't come up with content ideas or just simply feels silly? If you're having a hard time showing up on Instagram Reels or TikTok, this video is for you. I'm going to share with you a strategy that helped me go viral and gain over 3,000 followers overnight and three tips on how exactly you can apply this strategy to your business so that you can reach more people. And make sure to stay until the end to watch my Instagram Reels batch recording process over the shoulder. If we haven't met yet, I'm Karma Hunter, owner of KarmaDNA.com. I help coaches and online entrepreneurs just like you plan launches with evergreen systems and strategies so that you can scale to 10K months without social media or tech burnout. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how I come up with 30 Instagram Reels ideas and batch record all of them so that I can keep consistent and reach a bigger audience. Instagram Reels have become the most popular feature of Instagram and TikTok has been very popular already. Instagram already announced that they are giving, they're prioritizing video content like Instagram Reels or IGTV. They're playing the long game so that they can compete with TikTok. And because video is the most popular and one of the most efficient types of content, that's why most platforms are going the video route these days. So if you haven't been doing much video content then start considering recording some videos and posting some videos content consumers attention span is very short so people don't really want to read bunch of captions anymore and that's why video content is very effective in the competitive marketing business you can take advantage of video content and stand out from your competitors. When I first started promoting my business online, I didn't like being on video. Unless I was teaching something, it just didn't feel comfortable, especially lip syncing, doing the challenges and dancing on the video felt really silly. Then I realized if I was giving value, whether if it's 30 seconds or one minute, I wouldn't feel uncomfortable. So I started recording by talking and giving tips. I just couldn't make it in 30 seconds. It was so choppy, it was clumsy. It didn't reach many people anyway. So I started testing different strategies. The best one that worked for me was using the trending sounds. I know you've heard about using trending sounds before many times, but I'm gonna share with you how exactly you can use trending sounds today. So here are the three tips on using trending sounds. Number one, and the easiest one is use trending sounds in the background of your Instagram Reels or TikToks. Even if this is a talking video where you're making some comments or giving some tips, you can always minimize the volume of the background trending sound and maximize your own original sound so that you have a very low sound playing in the background and it also still helps with the algorithm. Number two and one of my favorite tips is use the trending songs and point at tips. All you need to do is just rock side to side a little bit and point and just write the tips, edit it in after you record the video. This way you're easily giving value without trying to figure out how you're gonna say everything you wanna say within 30 seconds or a minute. Also using the trending song so that algorithm boosts your reach. The third tip on using trendy sounds is using the trendy lip sync sounds. You don't have to memorize the whole thing. I know you may have a hard time adjusting the video and your lips. Biggest and the bonus tip I'm going to give you is slow down the video by 2x and do it that way. That way you can follow up and it's kind of going to look cooler and more attractive anyway. 
after recording the lip sync video, write your tips that are relevant to your content and your niche and save it to your drafts. I don't know about you, but I can't come up with an idea and, and record and edit and post Instagram Reels or TikTok daily. It just doesn't work for me. It takes so long. Number one, I get writer's block. Well, in this case, content ideas block. And number two, it takes so freaking long. So here's what I do. I do this in two days because I kind of get bored easily. You can do it the same day if you want to. On the first day, I come up with 20 to 30 Instagram Reel or TikTok ideas. On the second day, I get ready. I put out some extra tops and lipsticks so that I'm not looking the same on every video. And then I start recording each of those ideas that I created the day before back to back. Once I do the recording, I edit the captions, add my hashtags and save these to my drafts. You can do this in two ways. You can record the video and edit the caption right after recording each video, or you can record all videos back to back and then edit the captions back to back. I personally like to record, edit, record, edit, record, edit, and of course, don't forget to save it as a draft as soon as you edit these videos. So when I'm ready to post the reels or TikTok, I already have it saved in my drafts. I can either add more captions and my hashtags on there, or I could have already planned those captions and hashtags from before and saved it on my drafts. Either way, I post it whenever it's scheduled for me to post it. This way, it doesn't take me half an hour to an hour to create content and post every day. Next, I'm going to show you a screen recording of me coming up with a bunch of Instagram Reels and TikTok ideas in my entire process. First, I open a notepad where I keep all my TikTok and IG Reels ideas. And then I go ahead and open my TikTok. I go to discover. I first go to the discover page and then look at all the trending hashtags and songs and maybe challenges. So I make sure to take a note of the trending hashtags that are relevant to, that I can make relevant to my content. So women's equality, that could be good. Pumpkin season, I'm not really relevant to that like I can. So this is a trending sound and I'm going to go ahead and add to my favorites. It's already added as you see. Chewy ch Chatty Pets. No, I don't have pets. Science TikTok. And so I go down like there is one more trending song. I add it to my favorites so that I'll go back to my favorite sounds later and make a video for those sounds. And anyway, I go down and find organizing TikTok. I can talk about organizing my desk, my files, something about my business. So I make notes of those hashtags first, and the, I add the sounds that, I, that are trending to my saved sounds. I also put the hashtags that I use the most um, in the notepad so that I can just copy and paste them whenever I like but also make a note of the uh, trending hashtags too. Next, I start going down my For You page and find the videos I like. Let's see. Um, this is something I can definitely um, do for my business with my own idea. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on the arrow on the right bottom corner and copy link. Once I copy link, I'm gonna go back to my notepad and I'm going to write a, maybe like a reminder, oh, reminder for myself so that I can uh, remember what I was actually thinking about doing with this video. Because sometimes, although now I can say website ideas, website ideas, and then paste my link here.
so that I have this idea to make. And then I go back and keep scrolling down. If I like the content, I go copy link and put it in my notepad. Next, I go to my reels and I start scrolling down and see if there are any sounds that I like that I can fit my content and the video ideas. So if I like something, and then I start going down my feed, my reels feed, so I just keep scrolling and trying to find ideas that I can make it my own. Okay, this is a sound I can use. Also ideas, cool. So you have the option of either saving the sound so that you can use it multiple times later on or you can tap the three dots on the right bottom corner and say save and then I keep scrolling down of course like and comment on people's uh, co content too so then I find more like it I can make this my own so I'm gonna go ahead and save this too you can also copy link and save it to your notepad too, but I find this easier for some reason on Instagram especially. And then I go, you can also copy link of the uh, reels and post it on your notepad too. I find saving easier because then what I do is I, once I have about 20 to 30 ideas, I'm gonna go to the saved folder. You can do this by going to your profile and hit the hamburger icon on the right top corner and go to your saved. So you'll see your saved audio where you can just listen to these audios and then use them and create reels. Or you can go to the posts that you saved because so that you don't forget the ideas. Let's say, okay, when you get 30, 53 reels on a reel. So I can make this my own, talk about the video that went viral, my TikTok that went viral. And that way I remember when I watch the video again. Sometimes taking notes can confuse me. Um, and I go back and start recording. Once I record about 20 to 30, I'm good for the week. When you're ready to post, go to your Instagram profile and go to the second tab on your profile for IG Reels. Go to your drafts. This is where you saved all your uh, videos that you batch recorded. So as you see, I have a bunch of them that are already saved here. And some of them already have the captions and some of them don't. I'm just going to select one for the sake of this video. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to write my captions and then I'm going to add my hashtags, blah, 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 whatever, and then say share. I'm not going to share it right now because it's not ready yet. So when I'm ready to post, it takes me only about 30 seconds. And let me know what piece of information helped you the most in this video. I'll see you next time.